Okay, so let us start this. I will stop it when I have to reply to that, but only for a moment. I don't know if it's just going to outright continue us into the next bit or what. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, crafty goblins faced the truth about the darkness in the big wooden house. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, enough. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again, hurt and confused, with so many unanswered questions and too many open wounds. This is just, this is perfectly fine. Just on fire. Um, um, okay. Don't trust it. Don't follow her! She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood.
I'm already fucking confused. Mm -hmm. Broken, can I call for assistance? What is she doing? Uh -huh. Try to collect the documents you need for your rental application. Let the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet D for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. Aww. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Is there anything else on our desk I can look at, though? I never imagined Uncle Eddie was hiding so many things from me. I could use a Michael pep talk. Michael's probably with your brother. I like her room though. Why'd she cover up the mirror? That already weirds me out that she like covered up the mirror. What's this? Never could bring myself to send these. Whenever I tried to tell him how much I missed him, it felt unfair. Aww. To be honest, she, I can understand where her perspective on that, like she, because he's, she's the reason he went there in the first place. He took the fall for her. Book a one-way ticket to the other side of the world. How did we go from being so alike to, to total opposites? I gotta think about something else. Or you could just talk to your brother. Like fuck, you could just talk to your brother. Not that I'm one to say anything. Now would be a good time to stop smoking and maybe do a detox at 12.
secret keeper in her secret keep. Oh, is this going to be another one of those things that I have to find out the story thing? Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. Oh, well, maybe, but I don't know which story we're looking for. I guess I don't know which story we're actually looking for. Pelican helps her friends. The goblins trick the mad hunter. The moon hag loses bears big paws. Princess makes new friends. Maybe there's something in the Book of Goblins that'll help me figure this out. I mean, I guess. We've already kind of looked, so which one would it have been? Because it says the one with the eyes, which is this one. Okay, well, don't continue going over. Do I actually have to read it, or... She's just going to say the same Looks thing like as she... This is oh, no. coin operated. So this looks like it's coin operated, okay. Looks like this is Which makes me wonder if there's a coin in this book somewhere. Just random, but I probably shouldn't just rush through all these pages. Maybe I can find something in the room, though. Coin so, operated. Let's put it back down for a second and see if there's something in the room I can use to open it. This is personal. Could read it, but if it's personal, I'm just going to leave it. Um. Haven't heard him play in a while. Yeah, he probably hasn't wanted to. Sorry, I'm all tapping again. Just sits there collecting dust. I have to wonder where we would find the coin at, unless it's like in the book or something. I'm gonna dig around the room a little bit more. So we can do something with this, but we don't have the thing for it, I think. A secret keeper and her secret key. A secret keeper and a secret keep. Looks like this is coin operated. So I think we'd have to find... Let's see. Jacket? No. Oh, I closed the tab. I didn't want to close. Oops. It says something about the Book of Goblins, so I'm wondering if it's just in one of the stories here. Huh.
Hmm. I guess we'll look through the stories. It's coin operated. I guess we'll just have to go look around. There's got to be coins somewhere. So we'll just leave this here and then we'll go look around and see if there's coins somewhere. It's not like Eddie's going to come home. We know he left. Uh, Alright, Jacket, but if you try to start throwing up in my house... I gotta take care of that rental application. Honey, we're getting to it. I have to take care of my cats. Hi. You gonna come in and actually behave and not try to vomit on my floor? So yeah, I gotta see if your owner will take you to the vet. I've been asking her and she won't. Something's not right. What is this? I need to get all that paperwork together. I wish Eddie's mom could have taught me how to do this. To be honest, that shit's actually really fun to do, if you know how to do it. I wish you could just change your mood as easily as a record. Yeah, I wish you could too. I can't really eat anything right now. I, I still think you should, but I understand. I can't Here's either. the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. Okay, so I... Emily, Allison, how could you do this to me? Okay. <sighs> Fuck. I've got to think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stops. Maybe if I make something for D, it'll help calm me down. Maybe. I should have let myself enjoy these trips more. Aww. I feel like she's slowly losing her fucking mind, though. Eddie says there's a plant for every pain, except heartache. Ooh, I see peppermint tea. Can I have it? I so don't want to go back to the station. Not after yesterday. Must be great to feel like you belong somewhere. Anywhere. I mean, technically we all belong somewhere, but, you know. Okay, so we have a coin now. I wonder if I'll ever hear from Tina again. What if I just packed a bag and left? And never looked back. Ah, here's my ID. <sighs> this place was never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face? Oh, it's fucking with her now. Oh, my child. My coin deserves better. It's fucking with her now. Oh, stop it, Allison. You have to stop torturing yourself. Just grab your pay stubs so you can get the hell out of here. Honey, you're not torturing yourself. That shit's fucking torturing you. You're God. not torturing yourself. The world feels so fucking small right now. I've got to find a way to get out of my head. Aww. Allison, please. It's a damn shame. Come on, Allison. Don't start. I wonder what Michael would think about all this. I wish I thought shooting some hoops would help me forget all this. To be honest, I'm just fucking confused. I don't feel like listening to anything right now. It's like she's just losing her mind. This. 
The paperwork's not down there. Well, yeah, not, uh... I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories. But he wouldn't listen. Cat! Stop it, both of ya! <laughs> Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, do you? They're just words. You need to behave, you Jacket, me, Allison, okay? You need to behave. All alone and scared. <laughs> yeah, they don't really like each other, so if they start fighting, I'm gonna have to put Jack outside. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, I'm gonna have to put him outside. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I had to, uh, deal with the cats. I fed them and then put them out. Why am I in here again? I need to come in here. I need to go into Eddie's room. It's gonna yell at me to find the pay stubs, right? Weren't they down here? Allison, help! Uh, Allison. Please. The Mad Hunter. What's wrong with me? Alright, Eddie's room is down here. Dude, I'm wondering what the fuck's wrong with you too. Struggling. I'm fine. They can help her. I said I'm fine. I need to I <laughs> A secret keeper in her secret keep. Let's open this, shall we? No way. It worked. What 
Which one be you? Aww. Find your first hidden book of goblins figure. Oh, so it was a hidden one that was in there. Okay. Okay, so now we need to find her paycheck stubs, which wouldn't those be like upstairs? I would assume she'd have her paycheck stubs upstairs. The paperwork's not down there. Wouldn't your paycheck stubs be in your own room? Like, I feel like your paycheck stubs would be in your own room, not down here. But that's just me. Then again, when I had to go find my paycheck stubs, like, I had them scattered in so many fucking different places, I didn't know where half my stuff was when I had to go apply for unemployment. I'm gonna get here. jump scared. Well, what is under here? I said there's nothing we can look at. There's just nothing we can look at. Earning statement. Yeah, here's her earning statement. Here they are. She's a lot more organized than I am when it comes to that. Okay. Mine are also a lot smaller. I think I've got everything I need for the application. All right, let's go do this, I guess. Where's that coming from? Where did I leave my phone last night? In the basement? Well, this is about to be a jump scare and a half. Why would your phone be down here? with you right now not here oh right, well, this is about a jump scare and a half waiting to happen what's it doing here hey D finally I was starting to get worried why didn't you pick up yeah uh, sorry I uh, I didn't have my phone on me Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm getting ready right now. That so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> get it together, Allison. Come on. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or... It'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. I've been pretty grinchy about Christmas since I came here. <laughs> Eddie tries so hard. Aww. You should have taken care of yourself first, Marianne. This is a totally different life. Eddie can't cope with getting rid of any of Carol's stuff. So I don't remember exactly what happened with Carol. <sighs> I've got enough time to carve something for Dee.
looked cute. You know, I was already gonna get jump scared that whole fucking time. This isn't a horror game. I miss you, pup. Hmm. Eddie's been too busy to fish lately. I know he's missing it. I mean, I I don't fish, but I guess so. Tyler and I should bike around the lake when we've patched things up. Yeah, when you two aren't fighting with each other. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake, since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm gonna head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay, uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? We had a fight. I think we just needed to get out of each other's hair for a little bit. I'm sorry to hear that. No. You were so happy he was coming home. Oh, it's okay. We'll get over it. I really hope so. <clears throat> so, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, of course, of course. She gets that. You two didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. There was a lot of blame to go around. I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems Where like your brother, from? well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. But we both got tired of people lying to us for our own good. Yes, of course, uh, totally reasonable. Though, I am sorry you're the one taking all the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. I really hope your brother appreciates your sacrifices. He will. I, I mean, he does. I'm sorry, but I'm pretty beat. Oh, of course. I'll let you rest. Tell Michael there's no need to hurry back. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip? Avoid catching a ride with Tom at all cost. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. And exactly what they do to his digestion. Oops, I hit the wrong button. Well, he said you don't have to rush back to the store. Oh, <laughs> good. Because I did not plan to. <sighs> I've been overdoing it on double shifts this week. I'm beat. I know the feeling. All right, hold on. I'm going to see if I got a message because I left my phone in the kitchen. Okay, I start this now. Are you there?
stated in closing the record. Uh, Thomas Lane did not make these findings. This is just like Tucker Cole where we don't see a clear statement like this. And that's why I thought it was so important. Okay, now let's continue. Help yourself to some waffles if you want. That's Eddie's way of saying I'm worried about you. Oh, that's cute. But I had a ridiculously huge breakfast, so I'm good. <sighs> I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe finally binge that last season of Witches of Eldom. Then do it. Ah, uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I don't know about you, but I just really need to get out of Delos Crossing. Well, we're on our way soon, right? Right. I don't know. I, I've just got this feeling it's gonna fall through and, and I'm gonna be stuck here forever. That's not happening. We've got a plan. Allison, what's going on? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? I don't think so. <laughs> you just need to get to know each other again. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah. That, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. It's totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. He's not mm. wrong. I just need to relax. <sighs> so, maybe this will cheer you up. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? Deposit's a bit high, but it's got two large bedrooms and a view of the channel. Honey, you're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh God. Allison, Allison, look at me. Are you okay? I'm just, um, I need to, I, I just need to sit down. It's okay. I got you. What's going on? I wonder what happens if we tell him. God, everything? My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick, and... And I've been seeing things. Memories. Of Marianne, and me, and Tyler when we were kids, and, and Eddie, and... It used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened, but... Now, I see them everywhere. Shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself. I don't know how much more of it I can take. That's intense. I'm sorry, has... Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but nothing exactly like this. Aww. <laughs> Come here, Allie. I hear you, okay? I hear you. <sighs> you must think I'm completely nuts. No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but they're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. 
Oh, I gotta pause again. I'm gonna go get my phone. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Not really, I'll be right back. Okay, I return now. My cat was also chasing my pants. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juno. I don't want to bail on you. <laughs> Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. Not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, maybe that could work. I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for my lunch with Dee. I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure, thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. I mean it. At least she doesn't like outright think she's insane because she's not. Clearly, she's not. Hey, beautiful. You okay? Cause, girl, you look like shit. I, uh, haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. Alright. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. 
Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Let's go into the break room first. Morning. Hola, Miss Ronan. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork with Eddie. The chief's busy right now, but you could leave him in his mail slot. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. So would I, man. Question is, do I actually get to take any, or she probably won't. Honestly, I don't think she's going to. God, I hope no one got hurt. Yeah, well, I guess let's go put it in his mail slot or something. This is not this guy's first ticket. Try not to hang out upstairs too long. Chief's orders. Sorry. Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. Uh, uh, seventeen twelve East Eighth Street, Anchorage, Alaska. Nine nine five zero. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's gonna be busy for a while. Mr. Gerson, can you confirm the reason for your visit to Devil's Cross? Just visiting family. My folks, the younger brother, is here. Let me know. Work at the post office. Okay, now we go downstairs again. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. I mean, he's probably not mad at you about it. I mean, after all, a kid's got to grow up, man. The parents that keep their kids at home just need to relax. Is anyone ever going to clean these up? What if I can just go bother D now? Hmm. I love the smell of this soap. What kind of soap is it? Knocker question, but what kind of soap is it? Actually, it's not really a knocker question. I was wondering what soap it is. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. Okay, how did you not immediately scarf this down? You kidding? This is my third helping. Ah. <laughs> uh... See if she actually eats it, to be honest. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, pretty cool, yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. <laughs> God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but, uh, growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and who boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. I'd say I'm what are you having? Trout pie and, uh, black radish. I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> what you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. I hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Dude, I would steal that cobbler. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Hey, Gregs. Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But 
I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Aww. Hey, Gregs. Huh. So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. I don't like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. Oof. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. <sighs> Whew. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be paying attention. Hmm, an animal? Like, a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police business? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. You gonna give her the oh, gift? Uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How Aww. did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. So we get to go now? Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. Huh. The sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. We did what we had to, to get what we needed. It wasn't okay, but we did. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable. You're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you. I, I can't, I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Oh, what the hell was that? Ty, are you there? Tyler? Answer me, please. Fuck. Why is he ghosting me? God. I can't breathe. 
убийства. Окей. Окей. I've been here before. This will pass. What is going on? I just need to breathe in and out. Follow the circles. <sighs> Oh, I see. It's slowing down. Hold on. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. Fuck. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now, come on. Wait, Chief! Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids, I, um, went back to the house and got a few things for you. I, I know how much he's meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids, I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Aww. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. Yeah. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. Yeah. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. 
It wasn't your fault. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt your every waking moment. Yeah, but Tyler was technically 11 years old, too. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Hi, Uber. Maybe it's time I finally talked to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. Ooh, what you make? I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. Okay. But there's no shame in getting help. Please. Just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. I wonder what he would have said if you told him you killed Marianne. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Oh. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed, did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Oh, goodness. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. I gotta alt tab again because there's something I have to set up that I should have been doing from the start, but I didn't think about it because I need to upload that tonight too. Um, fuck, where is it? There you are. Yeah, sorry, I did a fucking thing and I have to do some stuff with it because it's a pain. Because the file is too big. Okay, there you go, that should do that. We'll just leave it on that now. Okay. So how is talking to Sam gonna go without Tyler here? <sighs> Out of order, go around. Breathe, Allie, breathe. Family's family. Get it. <laughs> Fuck. 
pocket. Oh, Allie, I... <laughs> Hello. Hi, Sam. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Huh. <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to, uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Hmm. Yeah. Well, all right, uh, here she is. Well, you wanted to talk to him, darling. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Are you not gonna... I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to, uh, dry out a bit. Oh, no bananas on board? Really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. This <laughs> one time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. Boat was... 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. Started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor, and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. Uh, <laughs> where's your brother? We had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Oh, you should have seen me and my little brother have at it. <laughs> right up. Right up till the end. I have to wonder if he actually is her father. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Yeah, your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Oops, I had the wrong button. Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. Impressive collection. Hey, you want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. Thanks. I can look at the other things, but I want to wonder. We're not gonna open his shit because it's not ours, obviously. Goddamn Billy Bynes, some corroded, rusty ass junker. Having some trouble? I can't get these nuts loose because my idiot cousin let them rust. I got a can of rust remover somewhere. If you come across it, pass it over, yeah? Oh, uh, sure. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but... We sure as hell are going there. Oh.
Could you check if I have rust spray somewhere in this mess? Yeah, I'm coming when it lets me leave. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. I just grabbed it's, uh, something. It's in a red can. Not a princess. Yeah, you're his princess. Shut up. So it's in a red can. Okay, well, that's not a red can. There's a red can up there. How am I supposed to know what this shit looks like? That don't work on boats, man. My fucking uh, Rust bombs. remover's in some sort of spray bottle. Should say, sticky mechanisms on it. I'm about to yeet this at your face, dude. Good. Now, let's see. Should be just about... Uh-huh. Pass me that wrench, will ya? Sam? Are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... He ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? No, but... I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look, we were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. Oh, what do we do, Tim? Do I get control again? Come yep. in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? What's all this? Here, I, uh, kept a few things. Can I? She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? 
Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Gary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Huh. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all I, it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. Aww. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, uh, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think... I think about that... a lot. <laughs> gotta... remember. Him. I feel bad for him. But I wonder if helping doing this will help him too. Are you my daddy? I call that an achievement for this game. Get the hell off my property now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Hey, Tyler? I've been looking all over the place for you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Whoa, whoa. Hey, let's get you off your feet, okay? Come on. Listen, if you want to be alone, I'll go. But if there's anything you need to get off your chest, I won't snitch. You saw Allison? 
How is she? Yeah. I went back to check on her this morning. She was in a pretty bad way. Whatever went on between you two, it, it wrecked her. Look, I don't want to drag you into this. Well, I'm already in it, and you look like hell, so... I just got a lot on my mind. Just well, tell him. I know one thing that's good for that. As a wise man once said, fishing is the cure to the wounds of the heart. Was that wise man you? Hey, like I said, I gotta write my own legacy. So, you in? I, I don't know. Come on, we're burning daylight. Let's go. Okay. Uh, where are we gonna go? Why go anywhere when we have a perfectly frozen lake right here? Ice fishing in November? Yeah. It got cold way fast this year. Climate change. That shit's gonna kill us. Oh, duh. But hey, fish first. You can walk behind me if you're afraid, though. You're actually serious. I am a very serious man, Tyler. <laughs> Let's go. We still have to get everything out of the car. God, he actually brought this shit with him? Stage is set. It's showtime. Whenever you're ready. You sure you don't want to go? Nah. Look, no way I'm going to rob you of your first catch in your own backyard. <laughs> All right. Are you not going to talk to him? Let's see. Yeah, it says talk to him, but is it going to let Got us everything you need, by the way? Yeah, I'm good. Man, I'm so gonna miss this. Miss what? Just hanging out and fishing and... You know, I'm not gonna have a lot of time after you move to Juno with school and the JC and everything. Right, right. Talk to so did any of the people you came up with at Fireweed land in Juno? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Once they left, I never really kept in touch. Really? People came and went a lot. And besides, everyone moves on eventually, right? <laughs> Not everyone. Not people who get so close, they're like family. I already have a family. Well, there's a reason we think of families as trees. They keep on sprouting new branches and... Oh, uh, hey, I think I've got a bite. You got this. Reel them in. The hell am I doing? Come on, pull up on the rod. Now give it a nice pull. This actually isn't that bad. Got it. I got it. Effort sound. Got it. <laughs> Bravo. First of many. Pace yourself. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Oh, hey, did you want to make solid plans to hit the buzzard hole? The river might ice over soon, so we shouldn't wait too long. Yeah, sure. Sweet. I was planning to go Saturday. I'll pick you up on the way out. Cool. I'll set my alarm to ass crack of dawn. <laughs> hey, so the other day you were talking about your chosen family. How did you find them? Well, high school can be kind of rough when you gotta hide who you are every second of the day. I got to a pretty dark place. I, I can that. relate to that. One morning, my uncle woke me up and told me to get into his car. I figured we are going fishing or something, but then we ended up outside the Juno Coalition for Equality. Your uncle brought you to the JCE? Yeah. He didn't know how to help, so he found someone who did. That sounds amazing. You know, even if you don't move to Juno, my offer still stands. The JC holds a monthly meeting. You meet a lot of good people there. I, I'm not sure where I'm going, but yeah, 
if I'm around for the next one, I'll give you a call. No pressure. I mean, I'd go Just anyway. letting you know the door is open. Probably help him a lot. You got anything good in there? Maybe. But who says I'm willing to share? Okay, fine. Be that way. All right, here we go. I wonder if this gets harder the more you fish. Yeah, it does. Look at that. The line's smaller. I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about them apples? Oh, <laughs> nice job. Are we just gonna fish? No, you weren't all talk. Impressed. I only see two fish in my cooler. For now. So, about last night. I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? You better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. I know. It's probably my fault. I why really do you pushed her play last tanks? night. Why does I just every don't get I why she always it? has to run away from know, everything. Dude. Can you blame her? <sighs> Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. Week, probably, I mean, it's like probably. she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Yeah, Even I'm the good right. parts. My Look, I couldn't sleep. I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. I also have to go get the exotic. To put it behind her the D2 exotic, the new one. <laughs> Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. But I'll probably do that later. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? But how are yous? Figuring out how to live out here? You mean yeah, it has outside an of fireweed? <laughs> yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. I was it thinking like of a getting cage. a few things. But after but... a while, it started to feel more like a shell. It's I just figured out who me. I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Look, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never going to give up on you. To be honest, you can lean I... on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. I'm waiting for Roscoe to ever fucking play D2 and I would do that mission with him. Yeah, understandable. You have this whole fancy bag just for ice fishing? You don't mix and match. Ever. Jeez, you don't mess around, do you? <laughs> Told you earlier, I'm a very serious man. To don't be honest, you say anything. I, I was got... debating getting, like, other things. But, hold on, I gotta focus on the fishy fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 fish. It's not really much of a focus, it's just this. Literally, I'm not even holding the button down all the way. I'm just like tapping it lightly. Mm, easy. I'm gonna shower, oh. I've got food, beer, and Whoa. I'm looking forward Damn. to the asshole. We had a three. Well played. Pay a bill and <laughs> Sound about right. I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. To be honest, I was thinking of getting Can a new I ask game you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? But I also got weird a fixed soccer. Kind of hard to answer my jam. So. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that I is also a made like a list of games I'm gonna play <laughs> Told for you. this month and There's like next not month. Really two ways about it. That aren't multiplayer. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there, just like everyone yeah, has see, ever like, gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you I meet did that for somebody too. Really I bought them you, all you the DLC. Anymore. And you're 
you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think <laughs> it's worth the chance. Don't you? I feel that, mate. I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could I say haven't saved or on my computer, I have to get it. And it'd be cool. But... I feel safe. You are. Uh because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. Uh <laughs> I have a little yeah, thing for it if you would. put in I think it's so either in doesn't my look like you're catching underneath. anything with that. You it's want like, me to show you how it's done? Am I about? Go for it. Or over there. It's in my about or if you put Discord in, I think. Are you two just gonna do the dirty? Cause mate, I can't have you guys do the dirty on my stream, dude. I gotta stay clean. Hey. You're missing the show. Oh, I'm sorry, these two are fucking cute. Just sh shove your heads together, okay? Like, fuck. Do it. Do it! Do it! You okay? <laughs> I'm screaming at a video game. What is wrong with me? I'm screaming at a video game. <laughs> real quick uh yeah i have it saved to my computer i'm like half done okay Shh, i'm half done where is it i like how my head you're eternally preserving that moment why why you're rude you bastard oh wait is this not the right one I mean, do it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I see we went there. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're not loading. You're not loading. God damn it! Load. Load. Um, it's not what I wanted. We'll have to go display capture for a second. Ignore the text, I was fucking with it, but... Wow! Okay, well you have to send it to me when you do. Okay, I'm getting off my display capture now. Go away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Ali. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later? You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. 
I like how you're clipping this just because I gushed over the gayness. I can't help it, okay? I ship it. Ow, I also just whacked my phone against my leg. I'm fucking God, doing why great. why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. I'm not surprised. Burning down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd also, never that's Mary for you. Kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 works, when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Do Let's I get go. to play as Tyler now? I do! Sorry, Tyler's like my favorite character from this game. He's a bit of an ass, but I still love him. Oh my fucking god, you actually did it, didn't you? You actually fucking did it. You had to put cute reaction in it, too, huh? You just had to. Alright, let's go look at this. I hate hearing my own voice, but let's fucking do it. And I can't have you guys do the dirty on my stream, dude. I gotta stay clean. Hey, you're missing the show. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, these two are fucking cute. Just sh shove your heads together, okay? Like, fuck. Do it. Do it! Do it! You okay? <laughs> I'm screaming at a video game. What is wrong with me? I'm screaming at a video game. And I can't have you guys. Oh my god. Oh, well. Yeah, that's, oh, right, that's it too. Oops. When I forget I have things up and fucking don't turn off display capture or window capture. Fucking totally. Okay, wrong button. Man, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons today. <laughs> Ugh, what a mess. That's not gonna help us get this house sold. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So, obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? Maybe. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. <laughs> yeah, what side of Reddit? Was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. I already put that dead space clip up on Reddit. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, 
I'll protect you. Can I take we'll the ladder? Chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. I guess. Do I really want to be that person who's like, hey guys, have this? So she's making Need me... to see the picture again? I'm just kind of like, how do we get? Can we not just pick up the fucking ladder? Just a regular old light switch. Well, yeah. I thought I saw something red over here, but guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Nothing here. I'm just like having a look at everything. The handle should be behind this. Wait, were you here for the Reddit one? Oh, there it is. Or not the Reddit one. Were you here for the Dead Space one? I can fucking speak. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? Yep. I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. Well, well there's like the multiple glitches, but the really, the fucking very confusing one. Yeah, that one. Yep, where he was starting the bang bang finger thing and the enemies were really small for some fucking reason and like... All the confusion. Hefty confusion. Yeah, I put that on Reddit. On the Dead Space Reddit. Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... My first ever post on Reddit was that. Here, found a switch. <gasps> oh, I know, right? Wow, look. Uh, holy shit. Okay, don't have a heart attack, Tyler. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. <laughs> That's like the time I was playing Among Us and I killed somebody in one of the rooms and I go to leave the room because there was no vent in the room and I go to leave Whoa. the room and uh, one of my friends is just standing there. I'm just like, oh, hi, hello. <laughs> my plants were foiled by a banana. <laughs> Her story. Look, she left us something. got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. Where are we starting? God, this is so pretty though, dude. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? It's in the, yeah, basically, let's go with that. Well, okay. here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay, so okay. we're supposed to find... Okay, spot the differences. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Huh. Is there an extra star here? Or am I just imagining that? So we can select all of these, but are they the all princess is running away from the Mad Hunter. Who was sent by the Gold Lady, according to the story. Do you think the Gold Lady could have been Marianne's mom? I mean, she always used to say she moved to the end of the world to get away from her family. Huh. Yeah, you're right. She ran away. Just like the princess is here. Huh. A pink flower. Was that in the original picture? Well, it looks like it's a more 
one Never purple mind. flower. That's nothing. The hand's not right, obviously. That flower and that flower in it, but that color doesn't look like it's right. That tree is definitely not right. I think this is fine. It's just a random star. Yeah, because there's two stars right there. Or no special meaning. The branch isn't right, though, for that tree, I think. Or is it? I can't tell. Yeah, this is literally like some Alice in Wonderland fucking shit, dude. Okay, so we take this off then. Even if the branch is a little different, I don't really think that means anything. The question is like, what? Because hmm, his hand's the only thing different there. Yeah, we got the girl peeking out from the tree. Cause see, usually she's not here. Yeah, see, she's selected. So it's like the tree that was right here, her speaking over the tree, his hand is way down, is not here. Like, the little hands aren't here. It looks like the flowers in the water are fine. Oh no, you're okay. It looks like the flowers in the water are fine. There's no castle here. The stars look like they're fine. The moon looks like it's fine. And I don't think there's anything on him. But that's it. Figured anything out yet? I hit the wrong button. Nah, still figuring it out. So I'm wondering if... Yeah, because there's two stars. The quote above... Oh yeah, the quote above is different. Uh, it's not the same title, so I guess that counts as a difference. That's it. Whoa. What's in there? The fuck Pictures, is all this? Letters. Have you ever seen any of these? Oh. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I huh. think that's her mom in the background. So why would she put all this stuff together? An artsy environmentalist. Yep, that sounds like Marianne's exact kind of catnip. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. So they're learning new things about their mom at this point. Did you know she studied engineering? No. But it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed, and it's all wrinkled. Like someone tried to throw it away. I'm wondering if she tried to change it, and her mother was like, No, you can't! The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Well, you deserve better than the cliche bullshit like it's not you, it's me. But the truth is, it's all just been too much to deal with and I realize I'm just not ready. Maybe if we could have dealt with this all of us on our own without your mom constantly putting pressure on us, things could have been different. But the damage is done, it's probably too late for that now. I'm so sorry, you're an amazing person and you made me a better man. I hate myself for doing this. I feel like we'll both be better off apart. There I go with the cliches again. Please don't ever stop being who you are. Okay, Brent! Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Okay, Tyler, so. see that little light? What little I light? think we need to solve this one next. This one? There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So... Maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Huh. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. 
Maybe that's it then. We need to figure out which ones are real. Maybe, but... Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. Hmm. She had a bird, so I'm wondering if it's the bird. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. Okay, so what's in this one? Oh, and there's an L on the thing. Huh. What's in there this time? There's a lodge back here. Looks like a little cabin. Or it looks like the house. Honestly, it kind of looks like this house. Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Hmm. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Soundberry Park, Kodiak Island, Eco Village Arts and Workshops. Salmonberry Park? Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. It's so weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, huh. you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where she was prom happy. queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Huh. Her father. Your mother passed away last week. We just had her funeral reception. The house has been filled with people all day. Family, friends, family, colleagues, and church members. It's now 11 p.m. and I'm sitting alone at the kitchen table surrounded by dozens of trays of food, flowers, and sympathy cards. Oof. Your cousin, I can't even fuck read that name. Addie, I think? I also want to say Addie just because it looks like an Addie, but whatever. Brought in a beautiful photo album full of our holiday pictures. You were there and all of them, but you weren't in here today. We haven't heard from you in four years and can only hope that you made it to Alaska or wherever you are and that you and your children are safe. Your child are both safe. Your mother had been sick and depressed for years and you can imagine why. The pain of being shunned by her own daughter, knowing she would never get to see her grandchild grow up. It spread through her body like cancer and consumed her completely. All this suffering simply because you ran away like a temperamental little girl instead of accepting her help when you got pregnant out of wedlock. To dropping out of college and without a penny to your name. Wow. She only stepped up to help because she knew you weren't ready to raise a child, probably Marianne. A mother's duty doesn't end when her children leave home. This lady sounds like me, multi-talented in the engineering side of things, love of puzzles, reclusive, yet can really be remembered when people trouble. Yep, basically. And she was loved. Just like we love you. So it's like, by the things she's done. Now that you're a mother yourself, I hope you'll begin to understand that good parenting isn't about coddling children, it's about providing for them and shaping them into people they're supposed to become, whether they like it or not. I won't trouble you again. You've made your intentions clear. I just thought you should know. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up. What's or comment miscarried. by the character about the town turning on them? Oh, yeah, um. You're right. So, basically. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. 
So basically, how this begins is it shows them when they're little kids, and the mother. This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. Is either like unstable or hi? What's this? She's basically she's got her own little issues, <laughs> and she tries to kill one of the children, and she gets killed as a result by one of the kids. So the kid gets sent away. You know, there's a bunch of drama. It's a big story, basically. But yeah, more or less, the mother tried to kill one of the kids. The kids ended up killing the mother. One kid was sent away. One kid stayed. And, you know, so there's a lot of disconnect and un ups ha unhappiness there. Dude, I'm loving this game so far. I kind of wish there was more to it, but I know this is, like, the end of it. When did she took her tiara and ran away to the forest? Okay. I'm pretty sure everything in the stash was dated. Why don't we go take another look? Which stash are we looking at, though? Like, are we looking at this one, or are we looking at that one? I guess we can just look at both of these. No, this is just the one with him. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? Shut up, Tyler! Both of her parents kind of sound like jerks. I mean, they probably... I would have run away, too. So she ran away. This was in 1996. Ah, fuck, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to turn it around. Yeah, 1996, she runs. Well, basically, I think that was after she'd run away from home. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that This one was 1992. Commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine Die, this game living is really in a community good. like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Okay, Where so was she was in the Queen park. When the whole town was turning on us. Yeah, she was in nineteen ninety park in nineteen ninety two. Wow, she worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. This was nineteen ninety two and it ended in eight ten nineteen ninety two. So that's so she, from the hmm okay. Ah, oh, I think I'm talking about it again. Okay. Is that Carol? Yeah. yeah. And Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. To be honest, I would recommend this one. I like this one more than this. Uh, than Life is Strange 2. So, but I mean, those universes are their own little thing. Okay, let's see if there's anything actually in here that we needed. I should probably actually look at this shit. Oh, poor thing. Oh, shit. You think Marianne's mom took away her pet? Why would she do that? Maybe as a kind of punishment? Okay, so this is all the stuff. That's mean? what this one. So this one is what worked with the next one, and the other one was... This. Okay. So I don't think I actually need anything from it. So here. Marianne's mom forced her to do all this? That checks out. She looks like she's in pain. Well, for and some things you have to, like... Her so closely. For this part, we just have to figure out, like, how the her story plays out, like, what goes first, and then it'll let us progress. The other one's not so much, but... Okay, 1978 to 1979 and 1981. Yeah, I'm looking at the... I'm gonna look at so all So I these, guess she but... tried to change majors, but couldn't. Her parents probably wanted her to study something more practical. Marianne Monet, the very definition of the word practical. So she wanted to change it in 1984, but they wouldn't let her. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you're okay. Could this guy... You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Oh. My cat just jumped on my window again. Okay, leave this. Like, honestly, I want people to experience this game, so... Okay. One day she took her tower and ran away to the forest... 
So I don't know. Do we? So we just select these ones. But that looks like the house. But it also looks like that community she could have been in. Hmm. I'm pretty sure everything in the stash was dated. Why don't we go take another look? Allison, please stop talking. I have to deal with my cat here in a second. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go deal with my cat here. I'm in a pretty second. sure everything in the stash okay, was. I have to pause this because she's gonna keep talking. That's what I'm trying to figure out, but she keeps talking. Come on, baby. Did. Why don't we go take another look? Like, I'm just trying to think about it, you know? Because you gotta actually think about this shite. Oh, it was the other boy. So, yeah, I would think That's this would be Golden's first. Castle. Aw, Betty. Like, I feel like this would be first because, like, you know, she started at the castle. Then she leaves to go... Because these are berries. Actually, I just noticed. Did you look at this? this? There's berries in this one. So I'm wondering if this What's is salmon berry. plant thing on top? Because it's like oh, there's berries in it. those are definitely it. salmon berry flowers. Yeah, see? Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. And then... I'm wondering if it would be this one or this one, because not that. Maybe this one? Some sort of clock? Because this would be where the next one would be. And it said she ran away to the forest. So if this was the clock one and then she ran away to the forest. This is the princess's house. That's her house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and but the But it's like, am I beaver. correct or am I? Okay. No, 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 I didn't yes. even have to ask. What's in there? Another letter? Looks like it. Also, I just noticed this one says L and E. The princess's loss. Is this princess from the Book of Goblins? Treasure. Not that I know of. Well, Some sure looks like it could be. Some of brambles in the Rose family named to the west coast of North America from west central Alaska to California and far as Idaho. Yeah, I've seen them around occasionally, but not much. Huh, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, would you let me read it? No? Okay. Princess lost. Once upon a time, in an ancient and deep forest, there lived a wise princess in a big wooden house. She had made it through the woods into the house with nothing left but the clothes on her back and a single item from her old life. A splendid tiara. Yeah. The trees tore... She lost almost everything in disparate flight from the Mad Hunter. The trees tore her ruck, the rucksack from her back and shredded her dress and left a pattern of red welts on her skin, but through it all, she clutched the tiara close to her chest, fearing any misstep could cause it to fall from her arms and break. Huh. Yeah, really, they do, dude. The tiara had its own spot in the big wooden house, a pillow near the window where the sun would catch it on its surface to shine and wink. The princess could stare at for hours at the tiara, marveling in its beauty and running her thumb down its curves. Every morning she would wake and she would tend to it, polishing its every surface to be sure it shone as brightly as it possibly could. And she would pluck it up, place it upon her head, and walk into the woods, feeling somehow more complete. Because what, after all, was a princess without a crown? Every night she would place it upon its pillow, give it a quick kiss, and go to bed. On her way, she would pause and glance back to make sure it was still there. She hated to be separated from it, but she knew it would be safest on the pillow while she slept. Aww. Okay, so there's another page. Unless this is just a page already read. Yeah, so this is everything I just read. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. Yeah, I tried that to look at the story she pages. read us that night. God. But it didn't show me anything makes else. Makes sense now. Unless it wouldn't let me- unless I had to read the second one, yeah. too. She got pregnant. And... 
She ran away to start a new life. And then she made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. Hmm. God, there's so much story to this game. And then the baby died. So her first kid died. That's why they don't they didn't know anything about her or him. I can't the first even baby died. How she must have felt. She left everything behind. Built a whole new life for him. And then he was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. Sorry, it was skipping. Yeah, that easily broke her yet again. The fact that they... They, they threatened to take her children away it, again? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't After either, losing her first one didn't help. All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Like, I would not... I would feel similar to her, but I don't think I would react the way she did if someone threatened to take my kids okay, away. Okay, so how do we open it? Yeah. She set out for a new life. She did what she did. But at the same time, she... The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. She lost her child, and then she didn't have any support after losing her child, more or less. She wanted to bring her kid into a better life and couldn't do that. There you go, stalwart moose. I didn't do anything. Oh, wait, I can just put all the Back stuff in your here. pond, big frog. Here, the secret keeper. Hiding secrets in the clouds. Gold lady stays locked up in her castle. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. So the only one I didn't get was the bear, I think. The ice king goes in the forest, obviously. So the only one we're missing is the bear, because that's the bear paw back there. For that side, anyway. Dude, this game is wonderful. I love this game. That's the pious pelican spot. Crafty goblins go here. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Yes. It just sucks that her their mother had to die for them Mad to find Hunter, all of this. Always on the princess's trail. Mm-hmm. So we're missing three collectibles then, because there's two from this one and one from that one. Dude, this game's so good. I'll probably play it again. Can I mess with any of these other ones? It's just gonna tell all me right. Should be easy enough. I don't think so. Oh, wait, we did see this. Hold on. Hold on. I remember commenting about the letters on this. So, O, L, D. All right. Should be easy enough. <laughs> wait, it's connected to the colors, so the fact that that one's gold is this one. And I have to go look at the other two. This one's red. Well, no, because that doesn't make sense. That one does, but these both are red. So that's kind of a lighter red, actually. Yeah, so the L is red, and then the other one's Why don't orange. we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. Dude, I love her riddles. Shut the fuck up. Yes. Well, now I'm concerned. Whoa. Did it just get darker in here? And then brighter again. So what's all this? Examine. Ollie. Mm -hmm. She, uh, she noticed. Dear Allison and Ollie, we write stories to understand. Aw. And be understood, but what good is story without a first act. I'm sorry I kept mine from you for so long. All my love, little goblins. 
Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? So is it surviving now? Oh, look, it's a little baby! Is that... Leo Ronan? Why didn't she yeah. tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, are we not gonna finish looking in there? Cause there's still more shit in there. Come on, let's go to the dock. Whoa, whoa, we're it's not done. To finish this. There's still more things in here we haven't unlocked. Hold on. We're not done. Motherfucker. A baby hey, blanket. Now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. I want to look at these some more, cause I think there's still like one more picture. But yeah, we'll take a crack at those ones. I wonder if that's where the he baby's so grave young. is. Oh yeah, it was just the notes. Okay. Very old beavers repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Okay, so we need the one about them fixing her house, which I think is this one. Uh, no, I think I'm going back to her. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Beaver fixes the house. Remember someone for their full story, not just the best parts of the worst all. But yeah, people don't think of it like that. They only want to remember you for the good or the bad. They don't want to care about, like... They don't want to remember you for both or all of your stuff that's happened. They just want to remember you for one thing or the other. Like, you fuck up so badly, they're going to only remember you for that. Or you do something so wonderful, they're only going to remember you for that. They don't care about everything else. And it sucks because people don't care about that. Especially in a day and age where people's anxiety and depression and stuff is so fucking huge and so fucking painful to deal with. But everyone, including that person, only sees the negative or only sees the good. Well, yeah, okay, technically, you, you know, if it was me, like, I'd only always see the negative on myself, but everyone else would only see the good. And then if you have, like, if you stumble and you mess up, they're like, man, that person was so perfect. Why the fuck did they mess up? You know? People don't see every the whole story. They only see what they want to see. Or one side and not the other. The water princess in a big wooden house. It's okay. So let's see what they start fixing. They are happy to do it. But if you want help with the roof, you may. When the pair were done with the roof and the walls, they examined the bent support post. Okay. So they did the roof and the walls and the bent support post. Wait, let's see. So it was the post. I never got. Many of my family I only saw during holiday times. I never got many of my friends have, like, going to school or just having a... I'm sorry, I love you. The way me feels, too. To be honest, my time with my family was something I didn't want. Because... I didn't matter. I was just the oldest child... That everyone wanted to do what they wanted. That everybody was like, you're never going to succeed if you don't do what we tell you. You're never going to get anywhere if you don't do what we tell you. You're supposed to take care of your siblings. You have to watch your little brother. You have to watch your little sister. You have to do this. Oh, because I did that to you, it's fine because you're the oldest. Like... 
I took care of my little sister once while we were stuck at my family at a person. I didn't even know who these fucking people were. But I pulled my little sister out of the crib because she was crying and upset because they left and they were leaving her in the crib all day. So I pulled her out of the crib, had her sit in my lap, and we watched TV. When my stepfather and mom came back, I got yelled at and punished for take for pulling my little sister out of a crib and holding her while we were watching TV. Because I picked up my little sister. So, like, I never liked family time. Because family time was always, Flame did this, Flame did that, she didn't do this, she didn't do that. She's not doing what we want her to do. She's too fat to get a job. She's too this, she's too that. It's like, what? Like, they even tried to tell me, and this is what pissed me off more, is... My stepfather's grandpa, my stepfather's parents told me that the reason they hurt me and the reason they beat me was because I asked for it. The reason they beat me till I was black and fucking blue and crying in a corner is because I asked for it. So yeah, my family has never been nice to me. And there's a reason I don't like my mother. And it's not because I want to hate her. Because, again, I would still can't, I will still, this one a little awkward places, but, like. Oh, yeah, you don't know that whole story, do you, Uber? It's very depressing, and I don't know if I really want to talk about it. But let's just leave it at this. My family was not nice. At seven years old, I had to be an adult. Because I did not have a good family. And honestly, it, it's in the past. I've Again, I talk about it and you can tell that I'm not happy because it sucked. But I've learned to grow from what happened. But it, just, it wasn't fair. This is why I don't like people who do that to their, to their family. Like, this is why I don't. I live with my grandpa right now. Yeah, I, don't, I don't live with my mom in Erin anymore. I moved out of my mom's house. Another time when COVID's not kicking your ass, but yes. Again, I'm not trying to make this depressing. Like, I mean, this game's already fucking depressing enough. But, like, my life sucked, okay? I act happy. I act like I don't give a shit. But from the time I was fucking seven, my life sucked. Now, probably not. I'm not going to get into, like, the whole details, but basically, all I'm going to say is, I know how these people feel, they feel in this game, because I've been there, done that. And, this game's bringing up those feelings again. But it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that's bringing up those feelings again. Because I'm not scared of it. Done that, been there, done that, had it happen, I'm an adult now, I take care of myself. You know? So... And I will never, the thing I picked about this before I continue, I will never repeat what has been done to me. That cycle stops with me. That's just basically what it is. That cycle stops with me. And now I'm going to go back to playing the game before I get into more feels. Because I'm not fucking doing it. I plead the fifth. Okay, ow, my eyes. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. Okay. Let's see. Roof and the walls. Huh, she fixed the roof shingles. She slapped the post with the Alright. Hey, look another note. Damn, that must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, 
He doesn't really like to talk about her. Okay, you gotta let me get into this first. You cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you. So I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in a letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my melon... Whatever fucking word. Melancholic. Crambling. Short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me these past few months. I can't even imagine how exhausting it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady. Aww. When you also have two small children at home. <laughs> I mean... It says every parent ever, I hope. But... I feel like certain people will be really, really good at being parents. And then there's the ones who aren't. And it's just, you never know what's going to happen, you know? There's not enough support out there for people who have the same, who have the struggles that this mother has. There's not enough support out there for people who have struggles she has. If she had probably gotten the help she needed and wasn't just shoved the fuck off, in a way, she also didn't want it. Again, she also didn't want it. Shush. She also didn't want it. She didn't want the help. But if she had wanted the help and suck and like had gone out to get the help, I feel like this would have ended differently. But there's not enough support for people who need that help. Even if they're not parents, there's not enough support for people who need that help. They can't get it. They're just shrugged off and like, oh, fuck you, whatever, you're a burden. I don't care. Get the hell out of my life. Like, literally, the world just shoves them into a box and says, fuck you, get out. Or therapy will fix it. It's like, no, therapy can't fix everything. It can help. It won't fix it. Yeah. I know you want me to keep fighting this disease and hoping for recovery, but it's always been a, a great strength of mine to know when it's time to let go and that that time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favor. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front ever since his father died. But I know he's in pain. I would be so much more at peace knowing he saw his family. Maybe he could teach the kids how to fish. He loves spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and the peace you brought to my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, will you? Aw, Carol! <coughs> yeah. Understandable. I'm not too much into the whole tattoo thing, but I, I understand that. Oh, we're Crafty this one goblins, good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Gonna be on my right wrist. I hope any that see it can silently know I can be someone to talk to me about. Aww. Well, whenever you get it, you'll have to show me. See, again, it's just people need more support than they get. Okay. Very crafty goblins. Very hungry. Yeah, see, the thing with that is a lot of people... I mean, I understand that. Like, you never know what somebody needs because they're not going to... Half the time, they're not going to tell you. You either have to read their body language or they have to... Or, you know, it just... You have to read their body language, their attitude, the way they are. You just have to learn to read what they're feeling. And... Because nowadays, talking about how you feel... No. It's not a thing. It's not supposed to exist. Like, you're not allowed to do that. It's a crime if you speak of how you feel. Hmm. No, I mean, honestly, you could probably do just whatever you wish, but you know. I mean, nobody does because they don't. Stalwart moose struggling with an itchy hard reach spot in his back. Not good honey on the narrow beehive. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I feel that way too. Like, I don't want to ask people for help. I can talk about what's happened. But I won't ask people for help. I tell other people they can ask me for help. They can come and talk to me if they need anything. But it's never the other way around. I'm a stubborn old lady, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so... They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. Yeah. They broke open the beehive for the bear. And then we hugged her. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Aww. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. I mean, I would I wouldn't force help on you, but it'd be like casually flails at. What's up with the goblins again? What do you mean? Pelican Crossing is... More or less, yes. Specialty gift boutique located near the... Okay. Specialized in the... assortment of high quality products from home accessories, handmade souvenirs, personalized apparel, and locally made art. The Pelican Crossing will be the first store to act as a relay between the buzzing arts and crafts scene and customers. In addition to a wide array of novelty handcrafted products, the consumer will enjoy friendly and knowledgeable customer service from Vecchi store owner, co-owner Tessa Vecchi, and up-and-coming artist Marian Ronan. This business plan is prepared to obtain financing in an amount of... Wow! Jesus! But they got into a fight, so it ended, so that didn't happen because they got into a fight. Oh, you're okay. What's this one? Are we doing this one next? Okay. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? I didn't think this was actually going to take this long, but... Hey, what do I know? Okay, so the present one. That's the princess's party, but... Is this one? Yeah, it's this one. So in the bank of the river, swiping at salmon on their way to the spawning grounds, just as he got his paw on a particular fat one, heard a woman shouting for help. He considered simply eating his salmon, but then she screamed again, and he lumbered over to investigate. After a short walk, he found the princess clinging to the top of a tree while a wolf snarled and snapped at the base of the tree. Okay. We were normally not in the middle of such a situation. After all, as a fellow predator, he understood the wolf's need to hunt. But when he saw the princess, he was struck by her beauty. Okay. I knew he had to help. Well, then again, Sam is the bear, so that's understandable. So basically, Sam is the bear. I'm not gonna memorize the damn book! Princess should be his mate. The book's really cool. I love the book. Okay, then I find gifts from the bear. Fresh caught salmon, a handful of ripe berries, a newly bloomed bluebell. Okay, so those are the gifts he gave her. It doesn't tell us what we're collecting now. Okay, huh. that's fish. Fresh caught salmon? A newly bloomed bluebell? Some roses, maybe? No, put that one maybe back. Maybe not. That one. Some honey? No. Or not. A handful of ripe berries? Oh, there's berries. Nice. See, Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Apparently he fucking couldn't, but I mean, I understand. 
Sorry for the note under your door like a prison inmate. You okay? I stopped by and rang a couple times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the hayloft, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to talk. I hope I didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is, I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong and kind, and you know so much. It's hard for me to know how to keep up. Okay. I guess all that went to my head, but I want you to know I got the message, and I'm going... I'm going to get out of your hair now, and there doesn't need to be any bad feelings. We can pass through the street and say hello or not. It's okay. P.S. I noticed your car was leaking, so I put some sealant in there. You might need to take it to the shop, though. Let me know if you want me to come back, come with you, because sometimes those guys try to rip you off. If not, no big deal. Sam. Wow, dude, Sam had it bad. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. And you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Nope. <laughs> they clearly don't. I mean, I fucking don't. Again, it's not my book either. Okay, so what'd they steal? Food was just pink my ass. It wasn't much at first. Only a few fruits, nuts, and eggs vanishing during the night. Okay. Then spoons, plates, forks, and knives, and blankets. And then a big cake. Okay. Well, they did take spoons. What if they took some spoons? Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? What's this, though? So, nuts, few fruits, nuts, and eggs. The spoons, plates, forks, and knives. Some flour for the cake, maybe? No, I didn't take that. I honestly thought there was something else. Wait. What's this? Did they steal candy? No. There's Wait. Eggs. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Well, that's it. That's it. Oh, look I at the always picture, wondered though. where that drawing went. You she said it was her favorite, the and then uh -huh. one day it just disappeared. You're the best mom in the world. The prettiest princess. Okay, that's fucking cute. I'm sorry, these kids are adorable. Please. So she put the artwork in here, but why would you put the artwork in here? Are we done in here? Did I actually unlock everything? I want to make sure I didn't... I wish she just explained all this to us. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. Yeah, I think we did all of this. I don't see anything else we can do in here. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? I think we did everything. I guess we could stay a little longer if you think there's more to find. I think because we did this one. We did this one. We've done this one. Obviously that one. Obviously this one. This one. This one. So is there anything else? I don't think there's actually anything else. Well, you're blocking my path, so I can find out anyway. Yeah, I don't think there is anything else. Unless, like, there's just randomly one on the roof somewhere, I'm not saying. Because we don't have the rest of the collectibles for these. Okay, let's go. Because I think we got everything. I can't talk to you either, so... You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. You know the sad part is? That guy wanted to burn the barn down with that in it. The dude tried to burn it down in the second scene. Yeah, the second chapter. He tried to burn the barn down with that in it. So they would have never known. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Oh, 
میافت Oh my god I know who that is Tom Tom Vecchi is our father Of course it had to be him Tessa knew didn't she Yeah she she must have That's what she didn't want to tell us God Marianne and Tom I know Ugh. What should we do now Yeah call him out here and make him tell us what was going on And if he won't We know his secret He will Tom It's Allison We need to talk We know it was you Okay, well that fucking went 20 miles the other way. That was not what I was expecting. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. Bullshit! You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want, as long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? This you want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. That was convenient for you, huh? Oh, 
goodness. You preyed on her because she was vulnerable. And you knew you could always blame it on crazy Marianne Ronan if you got caught. It was nothing like that. Nothing at all. Your mother was... a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. Huh? I've never told anyone how Mary and Lily died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Dude, I'm so confused. So their dad is that man, and he didn't stop her, he let her die. He could have pulled her out of the water. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. Tyler! You know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! I 
God damn, Tyler. Allie, you okay? You didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night. And they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler. I'm so confused. She was reaching out to him. She didn't intend to hurt him at all. It was because of Tom, because she said she wanted to hurt Tom. I think. I don't know, dude. She had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words. With the same gun, on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? Yes, it's possible. Fuck. I I don't know. And we're never going to know the truth, are we? Cuz the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose, you gotta live with it, okay? which one I want to pick. I I feel like she didn't want to kill him. It was just the whole thing with um Tom came into light and that's basically what happened is it was the whole Tom thing.
Like, I really feel like... She didn't want to. But I don't know. Let's see. I guess we'll figure it out. I'm... I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm going to kill you! So do we believe Tom or do we stick to our memory? Because I don't think she... Th That's the thing I don't feel is I don't think she threatened him. Per se. Well, I know that, but I, I just feel like she didn't threaten him per se. And it's just like, again, like it's all hearsay. We know she... Like in our heads, we can think she didn't, but... What do we really know? I kind of want to pick that she didn't. I really want to say it's that she didn't, that she didn't want to threaten them. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's to be such fickle though, but like I don't like Tom to begin with. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. We'll do this one. Hurt you. Yeah. Well, cause I mean, if you think about it, I'm going to kill She not- you don't- Kill you! I feel like she didn't. It's just- again, I still feel like she didn't. Let's see what this one is. I want to do this one. I don't like Tom, but I don't feel like she'd want to hurt her kids. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, please. No, don't do this. It was just fear. <laughs> herself just herself you interrupted her and we we got confused are you sure oh my yes. goodness that attic tyler that was meant for us it was her way of of explaining what she was going through I made a horrible mistake. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here. Hey, peep what I just found downstairs. What do you think? Will it have aged well, or just gone bad? I don't feel like alcohol or whatever, this is the best stage for this, but... Where are you at right now? I just keep hearing her say she wasn't going to hurt you. Over and over. We were kids. We freaked out. You weren't equipped to deal with that shit. She was just talking to you. And I... I killed her. 
stop. I don't want to use our voice again. Ever. What? Seriously? I don't know. But I want to stop feeling like this. And I think we'll be better off without it. This morning, I kept getting these horrible visions. Of you and Marianne and Eddie. Visions? Like our memories? Yeah, but, but different. It was all my worst thoughts brought to life. You were in my bedroom saying I abandoned you. Eddie called me a snake. I'm sorry. I should have been there for you. It's okay. I was the one who walked out. I just... I can't let that happen again. I, I don't think it will. Something's been pushing us to find answers. And now we have them. Maybe I'm wrong. And if it stays bad, we can stop. But I really want to keep what makes us, us. The Mad Hunter was forced to remain below the lake with the Moon Hag. But she did not kill him. Because even reduced to just one hand, he was too useful a servant. Lo, he plotted what do you the day think? he would emerge. Brothers and sisters. To once again hunt the wise princess and earn back his left hand. Always. Aww. And that is the story of how the crafty goblins rescued the wise princess from the mad hunter. Pretty much. I still think Tom has to be held responsible for what he did. Because again, if I had been in this situation, I feel like I would have jumped in the water to try to pull her out instead of just letting her stay in there. But he ran away. Yeah, she might have still passed away anyway, but, like, he could have tried. Could have done something. You shaved your head. Why? <sighs> well, they didn't shave. They just cut. I mean, I don't know. He cut off his little flop. I miss his little flop. Oh, well, he's still cute. One last look. I'm good to go. Okay, so what, do I have to go through the house again? Where's his sister? Hey, it's me. Hey, me. <laughs> house is empty. I'm getting ready to head out. So, last chance. Is there anything you want me to do while I'm in town? Listen, Ty. Yeah. You're dropping off the keys with Tina, right? Yep. Gonna leave them at her office on my way to the ferry. Well, Dude, that's it looks then. So good. Uh, did you see the article I sent you about Tom losing the election? Ah, uh, yes. I saw your message right before derby practice, so I didn't have time to read it. But I did cackle at the headline. 
Did you picture Tom's face whenever you went in for a block? <laughs> no, but that is a great idea. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad Tessa finally left his ass. Karma is a bitch. How's Juno? Big and full of people, even without tourists. Michael's been writing up rules for the apartment. I need your support against his whole food policy. Just refuse to sign anything until I get there, okay? Okay, but you better hurry. If he gets his way, we'll only have one small shelf for junk food. What? Heresy. I'm gonna need, like, twice that just for snack cakes after my surgery next month. I know, right? This cannot stand. How are you? Good, actually. Really good. You? Same. You know, emptying the house really cleared my head out. Thanks for doing that. The observatory really needed me this week. And after everything that happened, I, I just felt like I needed to keep some miles between me and Delos Crossing. No worries. You still loving your therapist? Gail, yes. I was actually just doing some letter writing she assigned me as homework. It really helped me get some perspective. That sounds awesome. All right, well, I think this is it. I, I gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna hang up now. See you tonight. Okay. I'm gonna take one last walk through the house and then head to the ferry. Drive safe. Uh, pretty sure that's the only way possible in the old Allison Mobile. Love you, Tyler. Love you. Aw, oh, they're so cute, honestly. Fucking hell, I love siblings that actually get along. It's too bad Tessa closed her cafe. That other place just doesn't quite hit the spot. So she left Tom then? Well, fuck the guy I anyway. I should have probably run these by his place. Or just drop them off at Bernie's. Okay. Sucks to suck. Thomas Anthony Fecky. He lost his election. I'm actually okay with that, to be honest. Huh. Well, at least she finally dumped his ass. Huh, so she basically dumps Tom and goes to do her own little thing. That makes me happy, to be honest. I can send a picture to Allison? Okay. I love the little phone noises. Phone noises. Dude, I want to take this door, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reply to it, I didn't think. It's not letting me. There's not anything to say about that, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take all that with us. Memory purposes. Must have. Man, seeing it empty is so weird. But at least it's the last time we'll ever have to. I always love those little things. But I guess we'll just have to leave it. Ha! <laughs> they're fucking adorable. I'm sorry, they're so cute. Okay, well we wanted to look around, so let's look at everything. Make sure we get everything we need. <laughs> Fuzzy Bandit! The raccoon escaped! <laughs> Honestly, this looks like a really neat ass house, dude. sleep in it, you know? After all that happened in it, I don't think I'd want to be in this house anymore. Goodbye, broom. 
Goodbye, room. Goodbye, man on the moon? Sure, let's go with that. For posterity. I miss your little flop. Certainly hope the new owners are Mr. or Mrs. Fixit. You would hope, right? Ladder here? Okay. I can go outside. <sighs> Gonna miss this. Me too, honestly. It's a nice one. One more jog down memory lane, Mr. Ronan. Hey. I'm having a private moment with me, myself, and I here. <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> Let's go in here, I guess. Can we even go in the barn? Yeah, I figured. I didn't think we could. I kind of hope they took all the stuff out of that barn room. Like all the pictures and stuff for themselves. Let's see. Gather your stuff and lock the house. Well, let's go look around a bit. I guess we gathered our stuff, I think, so I can just lock the house now. Yeah. Time to move on. I kind of feel bad, though, for all the stuff they had to go through here. But it's best for them to just move on. <coughs> yeah, let's go, Mr. Everything okay, Ty? Actually, yeah. Everything really is. Huh, so now they can use it as distance. Originally their power wasn't used to distance. They never did. Maybe they just always could. Hmm. Alright, well let's lock up the house. for a fucking jump scare, dude. I love how that's what I'm waiting for. Well, this is goodbye for real, I guess. <laughs> hey, Aaron. It's Ty. Tyler Ronan? I, uh, thought I'd catch you on your break between sessions, but I guess you're going long with another rebel with too many causes. <laughs> He's not- I, I know I haven't reached out since I left Fireweed, but I just wanted to say, well, you were right about grief, about it going in circles. This morning, I was out on the porch staring at the fog, and my mother, she, she just tumbled right out of me. But it was okay. It actually felt good to remember.
Anyway, uh, give me a call back if you get a chance. I'll see you around. And thank you.
So let's see. Wow, 15 people forced the chest open? Huh. Duh. I wonder what happened if I confessed it. Huh. Wow, that was the end of that. And dang, does that bring out the fucking feels, man? Like, holy crap, that's a lot of feels. Let's see. How long have I been streaming for anyway? Four hours for this one, and I had like a couple hours for the other one. Let's see. I guess the question is now, do I stream still and go play Fallout, or do I host somebody? The end of the game was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest. I actually thought it was going to be longer. Kind of awkward that it wasn't. Okay, not like majorly awkward, but like there was that little awkward sense of like, okay, I thought this game was going to be longer.